This is a certified hood classic. My fellow heroes, tonight I stopped three murders from happening. Look at Kenny. I mean, not Kenny. Timmy. We have to find out the source of this evil. Something big is about stupid. to happen, and it is up to Kuhn and friends. Look at that. Look at that. Mothman on uh, the fly. Stupid ass boy. <laughs> this boy got a long ass beak. Boy, fat ass nose, boy. You ugly as hell, boy. The red ass nose. Boy. He got ketchup packages on his <laughs> You stupid. And then Kyle just a kite. Like a... <gasps> kite? No. Stop no. It. Never mind. Yes, tool shed. Why do we have to be called Coon and Friends? What? Right. We all fight crime together. How come we're just your friends? Yeah. We Why are you missing your hat? Avenger League. Yeah. yeah. Extreme Avenger, Avenger League. League. I told you, Tupperware. Extreme Avenger League doesn't work. Why not? Why? It's confusing. The Coon is a brand people already know. How? Why can't it be Mosquito with friends? Nobody's Man, fucking heard of you, Mosquito. Right. I know. I, no, I, well, I don't agree with everything Carmen said. I agree with that, bro. Come on now. Have so? Have so? Look, guys. We need to find out what's causing the crime wave in this city. Mysterion, you and the human kite get on the computer and dig up what you can. Tupperware nice. mosquito scan the news. Toolshed, you run a perimeter check with Iron Maiden. What are you gonna do? <laughs> work, people. Uh, Mint Berry Crunch, could I have a quick word with you in the debriefing chamber? Oh no, <laughs> right. You don't okay, do uh, nothing, boy. <laughs> I really enjoy having you be a part of Coon and Friends, and I certainly appreciate your on-time paying of dues and fees. It's just. You gotta, they paid to be in there? Bro, hell no, I'm not paying to be in that shit, bro. You gonna let me in, bitch, or I'm gonna kick down the door. I don't, whore. I'm not getting your deal. I, I thought mean, that boy was candle exactly what is mint berry crunch supposed to mean? I, I get that you're half man and half berry, and that you're crunchy <laughs> with some mint, but okay. to be a part of Kuhn and Friends, you have to have a clear and more superhero kind of identity. Mint berry crunch sound like something you get in a vape and shit like that, bro. You don't know, don't stop smoking them vapes, bro. Them them flavors be too close to what it describes, boy. Pain of desperation. It tastes just like home. You can really taste the poverty, boy. Get your mint berry crunch. Um, I'm just wondering if maybe you need to add something else to the mint berry crunch part of your costume. Yeah, pizzazz, bitch. Like milk. No, not like milk. You see, I That's really think you're on different pages here, Crunch. It's like you don't even... Coon and Friends alert. Coon and Friends alert. Eric is so uh -oh. vain to make that his What's sound. What's the alert, Mosquito? There's like a big fire or something in town. What a fire? Coon volume up. Cool. There's to be at least <laughs> 20 people up. trapped <laughs> inside the apartment building, and firefighters are having no luck. My guess? Oh, no. What are you waiting for? Coon and Friends, let's head out. What, what are y'all going to do? But what are they yeah, gonna uh, do? Yeah, Mintberry Crunch, why don't you stay here and mind the base, okay? Kim. That, now that's petty. We've got that's to get petty. downtown fast, Coon friends. Mom, you gotta drive us downtown. Oh, Call it's him. a little late, <laughs> sweetie. Why don't you boys just keep playing downstairs? Mom, you're the Coon's faithful <laughs> butler, and I want to go downtown now. <laughs> well, all right, I guess I can get some gr- She just don't stand on shit, bro. Like, she don't. She don't stand for nothing. Don't stand on nothing. She just be- all right, I, I guess I asked. I said no once, and that's enough for the week. Like, bitch, come on, man. Anyway. Into the coon mobile, everyone. Stand for some. All right, you little shit. munchkins buckled up for safety? Mom, um, don't talk to us like that. We're superheroes. Uh, excuse Eric, me? What have we talked about with that language? One more time, right. and I'm not taking you anywhere. Exactly, and you be the one trying to get my video demonetized with your fat face ass boy. I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. A million chin having ass boy. I'm sorry, Bon. Can Look we go, me. please? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at ass. Oh, that's horrible, bro. In through the back. It was no good. Those people are gonna die if we don't do something. Oh my goodness, it's a fire. Come on, Coon friends. No, Eric, stay it? in the car, sweetie. Can we try a helicopter? She does the nothing. Too high. Chopper would burn in minutes. All right. What seems to be the problem? Get back, kids. It isn't safe. Eric, poopsie. Whatever's happening, you need help from the king. Where is she at? How do you lose them? Look, 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 look at her in the back. Confused. Bitch, look to your left. Ho. Look to your left. You're going to see a, a, a tin can death machine. Boy, it's an Iron Maiden. Look at, look at, look. Boy, look at Timmy. I mean, I, Jimmy. No, Timmy. Shit. They're not, all, they're not both in life just because they're disabled, okay? I, Timmy and Jimmy... Uh, Woo! 
Remote, would you like one? Those children back, Thompson. Please, sir, you must let a sweetie let the look at him. Do their <laughs> oh, God! Wait, look, up in the sky. It's Who him. is that? My God, it's really him. It's He's Hancock. Come to help us, Captain Hindsight. Oh no! Oh, not his punk ass. I remember your big Who's chin Captain ass. Hindsight? Captain he Hindsight. He don't do nothing. The hero of the modern age, from <laughs> toxic spills to unjust war. Look at him. What is he doing? Like, who are you fighting? The French? It's not much of a fight. Oh, there is no task too long. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just joking. Captain uh, shout out to the French. Captain Hindsight, thank God you've come. What's the skinny? There's people trapped in that what? burning building, Captain Hindsight. Your chin. The fire is so massive, we can't get to them. They should have built fire escapes on those windows for the higher floors. Then people could have gotten down. Yes, oh, of course. Wow. And then you see that building to the left? Yes. They shouldn't have built that there. Because now you can't park any fire trucks where you really need to. Oh, well, it looks God. looks like my job here is done. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. You can fly, sir. Go get them. What are you doing? You big chin bitch. You fly and you go get them out the window. They literally hanging out. If I see some, if I'm hanging out the window because there's a fire in there and I literally see somebody fly by, I'm be, I'm going to be so mad. My, my, the pain of me just being so mad, the anger would either do one or two things, bitch. I'm either going to be so mad, I'm going to figure out a way to get out of there so I can fight him. And that that's going to be my motivation. That's what I'm going to try first. Or two, I'm going to haunt the shit out of that location forever. Forever. Better not turn it into a daycare after <laughs> years later. Knock the building down, turn it into a daycare. Ooh, bitch. Every day. Every day. Kids gonna be trying to get their food and shit. Plates gonna be flowing over. Shit gonna be slapping against the wall. I ain't gonna hurt nobody, but I'm gonna I'm gonna scare I'm gonna scare the shit out of somebody. Thank so, you, Captain Hindsight. Thank you. All right, F everyone. You. I guess that's it. Let's pack it up. What about the people? <laughs> oh, what? Even they knew it was wrong. Oh, boy, did you hear about that fire downtown, Sharon? Oh, my gosh, yes. They said, like, 14 people died. That they didn't build fire escapes on those upper floors. Ridiculous. Oh, I know. And if you ask me, they should have built a roof with enough support to land a helicopter. I mean, hello. <laughs> hey, you guys are just repeating what that hindsight guy said. Right. Yes, Stan. <laughs> Captain Hindsight is our protector and guardian. We're just thankful he was there for that fire. Oh, now shut up. lead in peace. <laughs> Nobody Tune does alert. nothing. Tune in, friends, alert. What the hell is that? I don't know why I want to see Shelly be stand up again <laughs> like there? she used to. Alert, seriously. All coon friends to base. Alert, you guys. I'm seriously. Mom, Dad, I'm seriously. Dinner. Can I go up to my room? <laughs> well, sure, Stan. How did that thing get there, Randy? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, take it down. It's noisy. I can't. Right. I don't know what happened to all my tools. Man, he don't do nothing, bro. I swear. He just don't do nothing. Oh, because uh, Stan got him. <laughs> Stan all right, Toolshed cool is here. We can start. Dude, who said you could play oh, Big Siren shit. in my parents' house? Yeah, I almost got in trouble for it. The Good. must be able to signal his friends when a huge catastrophe breaks out. So what's the huge catastrophe? Why don't you just text them? What's the huge... Did you guys not see that Captain Hindsight guy? Yeah, so? So there's a big superhero out there doing stuff on his own, and he's not part of Coon and Friends. Oh, so? Jesus. I've looked into it, and this Captain Hindsight is oh, everywhere. Oh, but he's, he's mad like about it. some freelance yeah. butthole scab. We need to make him join us. Hey, fellas. Fellas, could you let me out, please? <laughs> Butters. Butters, no. We're not going anywhere, Chaos. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but you, you only gave me this bucket to poop in, and it's full now. And I... Oh, that is disgusting. I know that shit stinks. The whole basement stinks. You ever ha just open poop, bro? Stinks, bro. Like, hey, come on, now. You got poop, don't Boo -boo. you? Boo-boo. Now, the question is, how are we going to get cat... Word. Going anywhere, chaos. What do you say? Yeah, but I, but you, you only what came in this bucket to poop in, and it's full now. And I ain't got nothing to eat. You got poop, don't you? Now, the question That's is, how are we going to get Captain Hindsight to That's join That's nasty. That is nasty. Who cares if a hero doesn't want to be part of Coon and Friends? That is I nasty. I care! Look, all we need to do is wait for the next disaster, then try to beat Hindsight to the scene. Uh, here it comes. Oh, they're going to have to call Obama. <laughs> BP or <laughs> we care. No, y'all don't. I remember this boy, this speech by BP Oil and shit, boy. They don't give a damn about nobody. Let's Look at him. Look, watch place. this. Yes, let's let her rip. Look at his big teeth ass. Just 
just that's, that's it, messed man. up. Collect that oil. Just destroying the environment. Crazy. Oh, that's oh, that's horrible. Yeah. That is horrible, bro. Oh, don't tell me we did it again. Yes, you did. Ugly ass, boy. Fat teeth ass. <laughs> Just take it down. Why are y'all looking at it? Oh, take it down, stupid. This is dumb, bro. Gig, you're all here. Take a look at this. Cool. Down your path. It's a scene of utter despair and catastrophe. Oil from the ocean is You're spilling next. out out of control, and the rescue effort seems futile. It's horrible. The only thing that, stop look, he a fisher. Nah, boy, you go fly fishing, bitch. <laughs> I know what you do, boy. The fat ass life jacket. Bowling shirt. Our home is covered in sludge. Where are we supposed to go? How? Hey, look at all my scrampy. My scrampy is the best grand is that Louisiana down down the road. Got up in that scramp. <laughs> and it ain't worth that slime and new paper and sold on. Just look at all that Earl on my scramp. <laughs> Earl, bitch. <laughs> look at all that damn Earl on my scramp. Fuck, oh, glass boy. Him and Boom Howard would be best buds. Boy, that's his cousin. Can mean absolute devastation for the Gulf. Stupid ass. Yes. Look at all that Earl on my scramp. Let's pack the Gulf full of flavor. Shut up, go home. Wait a minute, look! It's Captain Hindsight! Oh, Captain, don't do shit! Look at yeah, him. No. Oh my god! He ain't gonna do nothing. What I mean, seems to be the problem. he can fly! It's that BP oil rig, Captain Hindsight. It drilled into a marine sanctuary, and the environment is being poisoned. If we but, can't stop it, the spill could reach New Orleans. Hmm. All right. New Orleans don't need no more problems, bro. Like, at this point, not no more. So they need to get up and get that shit fixed. You see where that rig is drilling? Yes. Right. It's in too deep of water. They shouldn't have drilled in that deep of water because now they can't get machines deep enough to fix the spill. Uh -huh. Makes sense. Yes, yes. Now, bitch ass. Now, if it's ass. a valve that ruptured, then what they should have done is installed a backup valve in case that valve broke. That makes a lot of sense. Captain knows, boy. You get your fat, long nose half and half. I'm gonna shit, boy. Get your, look at, look at his mouth, bro. It look like one of those little lines and shit where he be like, beep, beep, beep. Whoever that mouth was representing has, is dead. It's dead. They're, they're done. You know what I'm talking about? That little machine, boy. I just, just stop, bro. I don't even know what that's called, boy. Captain Tits. Nasty ass. Well, I'll see what you got. A bra in I there, boy. I they did install a backup safety valve, Captain Hindsight. Hmm. Right. Then they no. should have had a backup safety valve to that backup safety valve. Amazing! Oh, he's right. My work no, here is not. Done. I'm off to find others in need. God bless you, Captain Hart's heart. God bless you. No, God damn curse it. you, we please. We have got to I get that know. guy into Cunin Fred. No, you don't, bro. You do not need him. Well, maybe you do. He can fly. That's the thing. Can I help you? I understand this is where Captain Hindsight lives. Yes. I need to speak <laughs> Alfred. to him, please. The captain's very busy dealing with the Gulf oil crisis. I believe I have no, something that can help him deal with that oil crisis, sir. A lawyer Mr. looking Hindsight, at us. sir. This young man would like a word. Please, sit down. just let him in there? Mr. Hindsight, I represent some very high-profile people. And I've been asked Look to give this. you some really exciting news. You <laughs> have been pre-approved to become the newest member of Coon and Friends. Pre-approved. I know the Coon personally, and I can tell you being a Coon friend is the very highest honor. <laughs> As you can see in those papers, your first three months I don't want to be a Coon. Waived. This must be amazingly exciting for you. Captain Hindsight! Captain Hindsight, please come! I'll tell you, bro, Eric, Eric might not have any... Eric might be the asshole. But his superpower is what he just did. Manipulation. The power of manipulation. Convincing people to go against their better judgment doing things like bro he he literally has that power he does it well he's one of the best businessmen i've seen in south park he beats a lot of people period you know what i'm saying boy like come on bro look how gordon ramsay there's a new chef cooking uh, Go ahead. Get on your the shit. oil keeps coming out we've got other rigs now catching fire listen they should have hosed down the other rigs as soon as the spill began then that wouldn't have happened right thank you captain hindsight the Stop dolphins calling the him. Tears cleaned of oil they're, they're all dying Get down to the volunteers and tell them they should have used a non-bleaching cleanser. Commissioner! Yes! Tell Brett Farby should have never sent actual pictures of his schlong! 
Oh, God. It's not a blessing, it's a curse. Bro, you're not doing nothing. So, anyways, if you want to just start filling out the form, we'll get you enrolled in Cunin Friends right away. Look, I'm sorry, kid, but I work alone. Well, see, the problem with that is there's a <laughs> superhero union called Cunin Friends. And if you refuse right. to be a part of that union, you are a scab. Get this kid out of here, I have to think. You don't Friends, do it anything. The Cunin's lawyer, sir. You ain't Bruce Wayne, boy. Fat, long head ass, boy. The BP oil spill in the Gulf continues to get worse every day. As public anger towards the BP company grows, their president released this statement. Pause real quick, one second, because I know he's an ass. Look, look, he, he looks like a freak. He is a freak. He definitely is a freak. He's always going to be a freak. But here's the thing. Right now, just a quick question, just very quick. What's to stop Elon Musk, besides his weight, from being Iron Man? What is to stop him? He can't fly. He probably can. Elon Musk can fly. I've synced it, okay? I've synced him. You haven't synced him. I synced him. I know he can fly. Anybody with that chin can fly. Standing on it. What's to stop Elon Musk from being Iron Man? Seriously, that's a serious question. Hello, I'm Tony The U.S. Hayward, government can't stop him. President and CEO of BP. Our accidental drilling spill again in the Gulf is a tragedy that should have never happened. And is to that all right? those affected, I want to say, we are deeply sorry. Mm. Fuck you. We're sorry. Yeah. We're sorry. <laughs> what is that, a Pokemon? We're sorry. Oh, no, he a freak. Sorry. <laughs> BP has taken full responsibility for cleaning up the spill in the Gulf. And in doing so, we have changed our name from Beyond Petroleum to uh -huh. Dependable Petroleum. DP, dependable. <laughs> we no longer fuck the earth. We DP it. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, I attempt shit. to recruit Captain Hindsight into Coon and have been bro. unsuccessful. But I believe I've come up with a solution. Coon Vision on. All we need to do is get oh, the what is this? Captain Hindsight naked. What is this? This man's half naked, bro. Come on now. Then we'll tell him if he doesn't join us, we'll put them on the internet. Tiana Taylor. Them naked with Courtney Love. Simple, too, shed. Coon slide two. We dress Professor Chaos up as Courtney Love. Take pictures what? of him naked with a homeless guy, then Photoshop hindsight's face onto it. Me? Oh, come <laughs> right. on, Gary. Don't make me be Courtney Love. Right, boy. You a freak, man. Look. That homeless man is the real freak. That's who it is, boy. Gotta get to work fast, people. Because you know that ain't home. no Courtney Love. You want us to take naked pictures of Butter to use as blackmail? That doesn't sound very superhero-like. It's that not. You think small, Mosquito? Look, crazy. what's going on down in the Gulf is much more important than blackmailing another hero. Agreed. Right. Oh, uh, who cares about some oil spill environment crap? Mosquito has a good plan, Cartman. Hear him out. You don't know well, that, Cartman. What could they do? Identity is secret. We all have a say in this organization, Coon. Let Mosquito talk. All right, Mosquito. How do you want to help people? What are you gonna do? I think we should help raise money for the relief aid by having a bank sale. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, building awareness, uh, doing what you can in your community, that is a lot more than what they actually could do. I mean, Carmen need to sit down with Captain Hindsight and they need to figure some shit out because Carmen is an evil genius and Captain Hindsight can fly. I don't know what he could do in this situation. He can't, it's not like, I don't know if he can breathe underwater. He can't, but I'm just saying. He let those people die in that fire. I'm never. I'm not gonna forgive Thanks him for that. You. I have a recipe for lemon bars from my mom. We can wear our costumes outside the grocery store and sell lemon bars, which would be a good deed and help people. We're superheroes. No hell no. That's not no. Hell. Those people down hell there no. need help. Sometimes being a hero means helping in smaller ways. Chocolate Come chip on. cookies. You think selling lemon bars is helpful to mankind? More helpful than taking naked pictures of butters. Shut up. I'm not buying a lemon bar. Anything. And that's another thing. No more picking on Mitt Berry Crunch. Oh, what are you, the boss now? No, but we are all equals. From now on, we vote. Who wants to go with my plan? There's nothing wrong with voting. Look at, look at, Sounds look awesome. at. Let's do it. To the grocery store. Timmy's stupid. Don't raise that down. <laughs> I, I might have to take out the music for this, y'all. Look at this, and that's the moment he decided. Like, imagine how long he was waiting to do this. He walking down the street. He like, look, 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 from that meeting, he already knew, like, I'm going, I'm going to beat his ass.
That's what he was thinking from the meeting. Walked up the stairs, walked outside. They are walking in the middle of the street, down the street, till they get to a point where he just starts whooping his ass. It's turned into Mortal Kombat real quick. Look at him. He kicked the shit out of here. Oh, damn. Can he stop him? And he loves it, too. He loves it. Yeah, we're going to have to take this music out of here, bro. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> that was Craig, wasn't it? That's Craig, ain't it? <laughs> well, now we're back to normal. Just like before and all forgotten. Right, right? Tried to assert his dominance. <laughs> right. Cute. <laughs> So what's next for Coon and friends? Jump him, bro. Just jump him. Another crisis in the Gulf of Mexico as the oil company DP has once again made a huge error. This right, time, the go. oil company has oh, accidentally God. ripped the hole oh, into another dimension. <laughs> Boy, all right, bro. If you did some shit like that, just stop, bro. Just stop. We need to. You need to go to jail. You need to go to Alcatraz. Come on, looks like the my oil company stated. That Hello. I'm Tony Haywood, what? CEO what? of DP. Tearing a hole into another dimension is a tragedy that should have never happened. Send him to Russia. As CEO, I would like to say, we're sorry. Let Putin get him. <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> no, nah, boy. We're sorry. You are sorry. Sorry. No, freaky. Freaky. That's what that was. That was freaky. He was a freak. Captain Hindsight, sir. Calls for help are pouring in. You've got to get out to the Gulf. I can't Alfred, help bro. anyone right now. <laughs> Something came up. What, sir? You know you can tell me. Do you remember last week when I got really, really drunk? Oh, yes, my sir. God, bro. Look at Here we go. On the desk. They're Courtney Love, ain't it? Oh, God. My Butters, God, no. You? Courtney Love? Of course it's Butters. Courtney Love. But when did you have... That's not Courtney Love. I mean, no, what? What did I say, Courtney Nub? That's my boy, Butters. Why, Butters? Why? But why are you letting them do this to you, bro? I just don't get it. And I have to say it. Butters is a freak. He's a freak. I don't remember. He's in lingerie. That's just the point. I get drunk. I don't remember things. Stop I shouldn't have drunk. drank that much, and I shouldn't have mixed alcohols. Alcohol shouldn't be legal. Oh, it's maddening. That doesn't matter now, sir. People are getting hurt in the Gulf, and they need to know what they could have done. I should have you never kept him. that bottle of McAllen in the pantry. I should have never gotten around Courtney Love in a camera. I should, sir, sir. Slap him. from another dimension continue to wreak havoc in the Gulf, and the question everyone is asking is, where is Captain Hindsight? Where no, are we don't Captain need him. Hindsight? Where is the U.S. military, bro? We don't need that. We don't need him. We don't need him. Everybody's Captain Hindsight. Everybody likes to tell you what you should have done. Oh, got it. We get it. We need Obama. Trump. It don't matter who, whatever. Fine. Biden. Get Biden. Well, all the, well, all the aliens got to do is put a whole set of stairs in front of Biden and we're done. With the, okay, stop. Okay, it was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> With Captain Hindsight missing, what? Wait, what? what superheroes What's can that? save the Gulf now? My fellow superheroes, I have done. Hindsight is taken care of, and now the country can finally be made aware of Kuhn and friends. There's more That's important things to discuss about. right now. Right, Toolshed. Now, how do right, we deal with shed. these creatures from another dimension? He means we need to discuss things with you. Okay, what? Oh, you're right. I don't want to tell him. Tupperware, you tell him. I don't want to tell him. Bro, either. Kenny, you can't be scared. Coon, I'm sorry, but we're kicking him out of Coon and Friends. But imagine that. It's like, instead of kicking him out of Coon and Friends, why don't y'all just say, look, we're leaving and we're starting something new? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's a, that's what I think. You're kicking me out of Coon and Friends. We all voted and it was unanimous. You Damn. can't kick me out of Coon and Friends. I'm the fuck Coon! Look, we just believe <laughs> that you have your goals and ways of doing things, and they conflict with what we want to accomplish. But we get right. the headquarters and all the equipment. You don't keep anything. This is my basement, and I'll tell my mom on you guys. We've already discussed this with her. I already didn't talk to her. <laughs> yes, Mysterion. 
Please escort the coon out of our secret base. That's wild, bro. I beating up your friends, didn't I? Mom, what the f the f doing? <laughs> Eric, you do not beat up your friends, and I told you I've had it with your language. Your punishment is that your friends will just play superheroes without. That I know right now that is maddening. <laughs> to know that they are downstairs in your house doing your, you know, working with your toys, your stuff. And you you don't have access to it. They can go and come when they please, and your mom is cool with it. I mean, he deserves it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying that's maddening, bro. Oh dear, we have certainly pooped our trousers this time. <laughs> Shut yes, up. I'm afraid it's going to take more than another "I'm sorry" campaign to please everyone this time. I like how they what they British, and you know that they British because they teeth too damn long for they damn mouth, bro. Oh, Look at all what a right pickle we're in. Yeah, pickle. He's dying, sir. There is no way to cut the dimensional portal, I'm afraid. The ocean currents and swells are simply too much to get any machines in. Yeah, use your that teeth, tick, sir. Currents and swells, that's Trolley. It. I think I know how to fix this. How, by Jove? Holly, how? Drill. Drill, of course. Oh, yes, yes, what did I think of that? We didn't even need Captain Hindsight. We just need drill on a trolley. What he dealt, uh, Glass. Why, you stupid I as hell. I believe that if we drilled on the moon, changing its gravitational pull on our ocean swells, we could cap the dimensional spill. Oh wow! I don't quite get it. We got I don't think you should do it. Here and here. Now we need to drill. Yeah. Well, that's a nice drill. That looks Stupid. extremely promising. Our environment should stabilize if it's getting drilled here, here, and here at the same time. Exactly. The seismic forces will be massive. Do you think the moon can take it? No. Oh, she'll take it. Oh, he's a freak. <laughs> he's a Oh, so deep. <laughs> oh, we care. You do not. You don't. Oh, God. No. The DP oil company today drilled still into there. the moon and appears to have caused even greater problems. I'm more oh, worried about the I whale, though. We better get into our costumes They're again, dead. guys. Tom, the DP oil company has had another drilling accident. This time, they appear to oh, have unleashed God. the dark and mighty Cthulhu. <laughs> The rise Just of by Cthulhu drilling from another dimension brings about 3,000 years of darkness, Tom, where we will all be driven to madness and made to serve as Cthulhu's cultist slaves. The I president of like DP it. Oil released this press statement. I don't want to hear from him. As president of DP Oil, oh I want God. to say we're sorry. Well, you know, hell no, nah, but we're going to have to call... I don't know, bro. We can't call Ghostbusters for your ass, boy. We're going to have to... We're going to have to call SEAL Team 6 to get him, bro. Like, no, nah, we got to take him out. Who's the people that got on Summer Bin Laden? We need to call from them, boy, for him. I'm deeply sorry. No, nah, you not. Oh, no, you sorry. a freak. Sorry. No, you a freak. Cthulhu Rale Waglu Flagen. Praise the dark Cthulhu. Long may he reign. Okay. You're going to be the guys. first to get got. Let's get to the Gulf. We know there's only one person that matters. You know it. Darkness has taken over our town. The Kuhn friends have given in to Evo. It's up to the Kuhn to stop them. That's You're hard. evil. You're, he's evil. He's the... You know what, Carmen... One thing about Carmen is... It's just like... It, it's, I think he's so smart that he is like, you know, I'm so smart that if I trick myself into believing that I'm good and everybody else is bad, then I can achieve things that weren't, won't normally be possible. Cause it's like, you know how you got something inside you that just says, I want to do that, but nah, I shouldn't. So I know I shouldn't. So you don't put as much effort into it. Cause you're not, you don't fully think it's something that you should be doing. You know what I mean? So it's like, I feel like Carmen is so smart, he tricks himself into doing it. So that way he could he could be successful. And I don't know, man. Like, maybe I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe I'm even overthinking it. But I'm just telling you, he's an asshole. That's what it is. That's what he is, and you know it. If you don't think he is, then you are too. <laughs>